Howdy friends and neighbors, we're back here with part four and the final video of our faucet installation today. Uh, we've got this sucker all hooked up and working. Um, we've got our soap dispenser hooked up and working. We'll show you the water coming out. This little lever here, you flip it up. That's for hot water and pull out. That's straight hot or you can blend it. Whether you go down, that's cold water all the way out. You can adjust your temperature just by flipping the lever back and forth. And this um, right here, you got a little spray nozzle, like a little shower head, and this does pull out to where you can spray everything down really good. I mean, I love this. This is really cool. This thing swivels around. Really cool, man. I like this. All right, we got our soap dispenser. I think we showed you that in the last video. We had that up and working. We got a little bit of dishwashing detergent in there. Now let's go underneath and I'll show you what I did to get all the uh, plumbing, plumbing hooked up on this thing. So let's go underneath right quick and we will show you uh, right quick what we did. Um, actually, I used my existing uh, lines that I had uh, that were already screwed into the main lines coming through the wall. Uh, the steel braided ones are the ones that actually uh, come from the new faucet. So this stuff just kind of loops around. I may eventually, you know, next time I'm at the big orange store, I may may buy some little short uh, braided hoses and make it where there's not so much stuff underneath the sink here. But I did get it tucked out of the way pretty good. We made our connections. Uh, tighten them up with a uh, you know seven eighths uh, wrench on one side and a seventeen millimeter I believe is what I used on the other side. Tighten those down. Don't over tighten them. Over tighten them. Um, our hose here connection is just a it's a compression type fitting that you hook your your hose to um, the existing hard plastic line. Um, on, on the sink, the new faucet fixture and all you all you do is loosen up your your compression fitting a little bit by hand and shove the uh, plastic tube in there it's got a couple o-rings inside there and you just tighten it back down and it uh, makes a watertight seal and that's basically it friends um, there's here's a little weight that comes with it also and you want to uh, install this weight in such a fashion that you, you let your let your hose hang down till you get a, a U shape like this right here, and then put your weight on the side that's going up to the faucet. So the full amount of the weight actually tugs on that. That's what keeps it pulled pulled um, pulled back tight when you're not using the uh, sprayer feature. So that's basically it, friends. And uh, wasn't really that hard. Um, probably if I wouldn't have been filming a video it probably would only took me probably an hour tops to install this thing and not very hard to do at all uh, minimal amount of tools required you know some wrenches and and uh, uh, a socket or two and maybe a large pair of pliers is basically all you need to uh, install a new kitchen faucet so uh, hope you enjoyed the four-part video series um, take care. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.